Hello and welcome back to yet another video on the YouTube channel, Spring Fowling. Wait a minute. Nope. Nope. I'm these guys. Welcome back to the OHA, guys. Uh, <clears throat> wanted to start off today's video and uh, just give a big shout out to Andreas, the Norwegian Viking, and his team at Spring Fowling. A little help with how to say the name would be great. Maybe a video about that. Anyways, great bunch of guys, cool content. Uh, they're lucky enough to have got a studio uh, for their content, so we can look forward to all kinds of new and exciting stuff from them. Um, there's been a few videos in the last uh, day or so. Go and check them out. Um, Andreas, Nor Norwegian Viking, he's always first on news uh, as far as SBG goes, uh, model releases, things of that nature. He's got some pretty good foresight into the hobby, so... Go check them out. Pumped for those guys. Uh, congratulations. Hope everything works out for you guys. And I uh, can't wait to see some of the content out of the new studio. Uh, that being said, welcome to another episode of Pints and Paints on a Friday night. P&P. &P. Uh, today's beverage of choice, gentlemen. Uh, this is, um, uh, again, a follow-up and a shout-out to Andreas. This is for you, bud. This is a uh, fax. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Quality strong ale. Uh, it is from Denmark. Uh, however, very popular in Norway and Germany, I'm told. Not sure. Anybody wants to chime in, feel free. Anyways, it's a good strong ale. Let's give her a taster. Epic. Epic. And I don't know if you noticed the uh, can art, but uh, very fitting to be sipping on one of these while you're hobbying away. So, let's uh, let's jump right into it, guys. Uh, OHA news. Uh, so this week, um, actually next week, we're gonna have a very special announcement. So stay tuned. There's gonna be a um, a new episode filmed uh, of Pints and Paints in London next week, uh, and there's gonna be a pretty special announcement uh, related to that. So make sure you tune in next week. Um, as well, we have the OHA, the Battle of Glenwood. Uh, it's a free event taking place July 22nd. Uh, it's in Berlin, Ontario. Um, consisting of scenario play as well as uh, open gaming. So we've uh, earmarked it for 700 points. We're going to have a number of tables set up uh, for anybody who wants to show up. This is just a fun event, meet and greet, uh, trying to bring some of the war gamers from other areas together with the OHA as well as the OSBGL, hopefully. Um, so we're going to be providing a barbecue lunch and supper. Uh, for those of you who are interested, um, of course, as standard in any OHA event, you're going to have your typical refreshments. Uh, there is camping available if you wish to stay overnight. Um, Unfortunately, I'm booked up in the house, uh, room-wise. But you are more than willing, or if you're more than willing to put up a tent, you can stay. That's not a problem. We got lots of space for you here on the farm. So, um, once all that's settled out, if you're interested in uh, attending, feel free to send myself or George a message. Uh, whether it's f through the chat or comments, it doesn't matter. Uh, address to be provided upon confirmation of attendance. And uh, we're also going to do an evening screening of The Hobbit uh, outdoors, hopefully weather permitting. This is all very dependent on weather, obviously. We wanted to cooperate. We're usually pretty lucky down here uh, in that uh, we have pretty decent weather. So hopefully that's all going to be a goal. But if you're interested, again, that's July 22nd down in southwestern Ontario. We're not that far from the American border for our American friends who are watching um, if you want to come and uh, talk to me, maybe sort out, uh, you know, maybe you're upset about my comments about your light beer that's awful. Or, I mean, not as good as Canadian beer. It may be okay, but it's not as good as Canadian beer. Or, in this particular case, beer from Denmark. Anyways, if you guys are interested, more than happy to have you. Come on up. Uh, we're going to be doing all kinds of good eats, gaming, um, uh, you know, just a great event to sort of bring the community together and uh, get a bunch of guys together guys girls whatever and uh talk about the hobby and 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 have a good time hopefully so um we also will be having an upcoming announcement with respect to oha attending a major convention uh aside from nova 
this will be a Canadian convention, um, sort of one that's uh, on the up and up coming up. So stay tuned for that. We'll have more information as it becomes available for that announcement. Um, unfortunately, my chariot has not arrived. I was hoping to be able to show you guys and uh, discuss that, um, as well as my goat riders, to be honest with you. Uh, hint, hint, Forge World. Get those things shipped out, man. Um, living in rural Ontario, Canada, sometimes I don't get things as quickly as others. Uh, my OHJ brother George ordered some stuff the same day I did. He has already received his stuff. I have yet to. Um, not really complaining. I can't complain about the service. They've looked after me quite well, but uh, it would have been nice to have them for this week, but uh, I will not. So can't go over the... Uh, the Iron Hills Chariot with you, but uh, there's lots of channels out there that have um, the lucky Brits who got their hands on them uh, first. Uh, I've seen some conversions already. There's some amazing stuff going on with these brand new models. So um, the OSBGL has an event coming up, Fog. That is uh, Evan's event uh, in Guelph. It's the Father's Day weekend. Uh, OHJ George is attending. He's going to be taking part. He's going to be competing. Um, and he has a pretty sweet army. I don't want to spoil anything. Uh, maybe if we get lucky, we'll be able to do a showcase of it next week on uh, Pints and Paints. But uh, it is very sweet stuff. Uh, he also contributed some amazing prizes to... Uh, the OSBGL on behalf of the OHA. So he made some amazing um, uh, awards using miniatures and stuff. Evan posted some photographs up on the GBHL, I believe. We're going to do our best to get a hold of some of those photographs and get them up on our site as well so you guys can see he did some amazing stuff. If you don't know uh, what OHA George is capable of, he pulled off the Amon Hen board, pulled off that amazing Gondor board, uh, he is a terrain master and a painter like no other. Um, just just a stand-up awesome dude who paints like a machine. So obviously this stuff was to the highest standard and he did an excellent job. So really looking forward to uh, getting that out to you guys and, uh, and, and showing you that. So um, we are going to have, as I said, special announcement next week. That would be, I believe it's the 9th. Let me just check here. Pretty sure. We're going to be doing another games night in London at George's place. Sounds like we have a number of individuals attending from the OSBGL, as well as uh, the newer players that we picked up in the London area. So I know Tyler and uh, I believe it was Abdul, or at least that's what I'm calling you because I cannot say the rest of your name. Um, but a uh, couple of great guys. Had a blast with them last Friday night. Uh, Evan from the OSBGL came down, as well as uh, Owen, who is just epic. I mean, that guy, ridiculous. So uh, you got to find out where Owen is and make sure that you're playing with him because he's a blast. Um, but, uh, no, we had a great time. And uh, looking forward to doing that next week. I am hoping to have my Iron Hills Dwarves completed and ready for combat for that Friday night. Uh, right now I'm currently working on my ballista. Uh, the Iron Hills are progressing well as you saw in the earlier video. I got my crew done uh, as well as the captain so things are progressing well. want to make sure that I get these guys done and get some practice practice sessions in for Nova um, which is going to be great. I'm really looking forward to that. I'm a little surprised that we haven't heard from our American friends uh, what with the chirping that's been going on because it sounds like there's quite a large contingent of Canadians coming to this year's event and I think we're going to take it at the very least we're going to come up there or down there down there I guess and show you boys how to drink because that's what we do best up here in the north because it's all we can do for six months anyways I'm rambling on that's all I got for you guys um you know, uh, stay tuned. We're obviously going to do more of these. Uh, I think it's a fun segment. I'm having fun filming it and doing it. So, uh, once again, congrats to Andreas, the Norwegian Viking. 
and his spring for laying a flatwell ship bunch of guys um great job with the uh with the um studio can't wait to see what you do with it and uh, make sure you stay tuned to the oha for upcoming pints and paints on friday night as well as hobby vlogs and uh, basically all things svg so i hope you guys have enjoyed it we will uh, definitely talk to you soon and uh, as always cheers <laughs>